Welcome to Happy Maths Hour with Tony and Caroline. Today we're talking about the Mobius Strip. Tony, tell us what we can expect today. Okay, so if you'd like to show the PowerPoint, Caroline. Oh, okay, we're not going, oh, okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to do it full screen on the PowerPoint, there you go. So Caroline and I are going to have some fun with the Mobius Strip and we hope you'll want to try some of these things for yourself afterwards. So first of all, here's an Escher um, picture made from a wood engraving. So did oh, you it, say fun, Tony? Fun, I did say fun. Oh, ants. <laughs> Oh, but it's, it's fascinating to actually imagine the path those ants are taking and where the path starts and where the path finishes. You might like to take your, your finger and follow, follow the strip around with your finger, seeing where the ants would get to. And which side are they on? Are they on? Inside or the outside, or both sides? Or the top Can they or get bottom? from the inside to the outside? That's and which, a which is strip. the top and which is the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did something very simple with my little ladybird. And I have a cylinder here, and here's the ladybird. And he's on a track inside, and there's no green grass on his side at all. If you imagine him going round, so he's one of the ants, he's a much more attractive ladybird, and he doesn't get onto the grassy slide, side of the track at all. But here, you see, here he is, and he is just about to cross over. Um, if you can see, I've got my ladybird here, where is he? And hold on, Tony. No, they can't see. One second. Let me make it so they can see you. There okay. he is. He's on the Mobius strip and he is just about to cross onto the grass. Okay. And he can go round on the grass. And here he is going. Oh, wait a minute. He's going the other way. I don't yes, want I've to never go seen that a way. Ladybird go back. Uh, and, and then he's. <laughs> No, it's because of the mirror effect of the screen oh, here. Dear. I did the wrong thing. Sorry, everybody. But now he's traveling on the grass, but he's about to go back. Go slightly to your right, Tony. Move it. To right. It. There. right. He's still traveling on the grass and he's still going the same way. And now he's back on the track, which isn't, isn't grassy at all. So he, on the Mobius strip, can go on... And now, now he's back on where well, he's going that way. <laughs> I'm having to, I'm having to imagine doing it right that way. He's going. Yeah. Well, doing... that's. Yeah. It, it, so it, he, I, so I, I, believe you me. Uh, I, I am sorry for my muddle, but I'm trying to do it as in as if I was looking in a mirror, and I'm sure there's some control here that I could switch it over so I could see it without being mirrored. <laughs> there is absolutely no need to apologise, Tony. We all experience it, the, rever <laughs> the reversing things when you're doing online events. So but I'm okay. much happier with the ladybird than the ants. I think the ladybird was lovely. <laughs> it's my cookery timer, actually. I've got sophisticated ones on my cooker. I still use the ladybird. <laughs> okay, so the difference between the cylinder and the Mobius strip, how are they made? It's a little bit of topology. So they're both made from a rectangle. You, you almost ate that word, Tony. The word is topology for those of you that don't that don't know it or have forgotten it. So it's I just want to say it nice and clearly because this is for you know mums and dads and things. Topology is so fascinating, and that my favourite thing about it is this wonderful Mobius strip. Sorry, go ahead, Tony. Well, it's not something that, that is usually taught in school. It's quite an advanced subject. I mean, we're we're just we're just playing with some simple ideas. Now, if you take the cylinder, um, the the ends of the rectangle are just joined cleanly without making any twist. But with the uh, Mobius strip. 
what what you do is you to make a half twist and then join the ends together and you get um you get a, Mo a mobius strip there now here's another way of making a mobius strip if you take a triangle and uh well just a strip and make it in into a triangle and this is uh, not joined together yet but do an uh, go fold under at one corner of the triangle shall I, shall I under at the next, it, Tony? and then over oh. yes do show us caroline it'd be interesting okay. to see that so so i don't have a triangle i have a strip so with my strip i'm going to start by going under is that it Yes, and then under again. And then under again. And then over. And then over. And then, if you join it there, Caroline, just put a bit of, uh, hold it. Now, you don't need the tape, really, if you just hold it, but you can put some tape on. And now you've got a Mobius band. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Well, it's, it's got a half twist in it. And you can see that it's yeah. a half twist because Caroline had marked one edge with a wiggly line and the other edge with a hard line. And they are, the half twist joins the wiggly line to the I'm hard line. I'm just going line. to show you. There's no, that that's... That's how it started, straight line on one edge and curvy on the other. And we ended up with a half twist and the curvy joined the straight and the straight joined the curvy. Now, and if that, you're interested, you could experiment for yourself with other folds at the corner of the triangle because we did under, under, over. Well, what would happen if we did three unders? We're not going to do it now, but what would happen if we did... Um, <clears throat> one under and two overs um, there's different possibilities there but we what we will spend some time on is looking at what happens for a square so here we've got uh, at the corner of this each corner of the square the strip folds either over or under again like we just did for the mobus strip and we label the folds clockwise we're not going to think now how many possibilities that are of doing these different um, folds at the corners and what's going to come out of it and um, how many possibilities there are. Caroline, are you going to demonstrate this? Yep. Okay. Ready? Okay. So we're doing the first one, right? Uh, yes, fine. So, so that's so over. Just, so I've got a, just a strip here. So the first one I'm just going to go over. Over and then under. And then under. And then over. And then over. And then under. And then under. And it comes together. So, and I've got, here's one I prepared earlier. So I've done the same thing with that. And this is going to be, let's see, what do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be Mobius? Will it have a twist? It is... A cylinder. Just an ordinary cylinder. Okay. It's just a loop with no twists whatsoever. A bracelet, in fact. Right. Okay. So let's try the second one down, Caroline. Under, 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 over here. So I've got under, under, whoops, under, 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 and Oh, that one's a bit too long. Under, 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 over. And over. Uh, under, under, and under, over. That's it. There you under, go. Under, under, over. And here's one I prepared earlier. And, and this well, time, hmm, wait a minute. Um, um, wait a minute. I've got one twist there. I've got one twist there. Oh, is it too half? Two half. I beg your pardon. It's two half twists because it only goes from facing down to facing up. So it's only gone halfway. It hasn't gone all the way around. So one half twist there, one half twist there, making a whole twist. 
So there's two two half twists making a hole and 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 the rest is just. So that isn't Mobius because the Mobius only has one half twist. It'll have an odd number of twists, won't it? Of half twists. Yes. Okay. So what about this last one, which is four unders? Okay. Under, 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 under. Give you that effect. One and one I prepared earlier. Let's see what we've got. Okay, now we've got half a twist there. Every one of them is half a twist, Tony. That's got four half twists. I can't undo those at all. Is that four half twists? That would be that's, two twists. That's two twists, yeah. So it's an even number of twists or a whole number of twists. It's I'll a whole do it, Caroline, and see whether it really has got um, four halves or has it got just two half twists? It's got one half twist there, very clearly. One half twist there. I cannot, I cannot straighten those out at all. They are definite twists. I could actually cut it open and and literally untwist them and count them if you so like. So it's got an even number of twists, there, hasn't it? But you know what, Tony? It's got a whole number of twists because if it's got anything oh, and see. a half, then it's a Mobius, and it well, yeah. or it might be that could be an experiment you could attempt. Well, it's got a whole number of um, a whole number of twists. Then, so a half and a half is one. This has got two, so it's not. I might predict it's not Mobius, and you can tell it's not Mobius because the black. I've got two edges on this: one black edge and one red edge, and the black edge joins the black, and the red joins the red, which means it hasn't had that Mobius twist but what's the big deal about this Mobius twist Tony I mean so what no well, the Mobius the Mobius strip has got to have an odd number of half twists but, or, but or why, one why? half twist and if you do more half twists then it's a <laughs> it goes a bit further this is okay, this is but what, yeah. what's so special about it what why are we searching for a Mobius oh well because we were talking about the Mobius strip we just wondered if we could get it from a square Oh, oh, I see. With with, okay. with an even number of the folds that go over, under and over. So we definitely managed to get it from a triangle. Yes. We're we're in, so far haven't succeeded in getting it from a square. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so is it possible? Hmm. So I said on my slide there that there was one twist on that last one, Caroline, and I think you've just proved me wrong. So I made. I think I made a mistake there, but I think that's something oh, we yes. should just check because what you showed is that last one with four unders, you said that there were two twists there. So I'm just going to correct that. I, I'm, and I believe you. I believe. <laughs> but this is, um, you see, in the back office, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually what we do <laughs> when we're doing our rehearsals. Changes get made to the PowerPoint. Well, we did do it in rather a rush because Caroline's had flu and she's not been well. That's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is grand. The thing is, there's no such thing as a mistake, right, Tony? There's only yes, magnificent you learn mistakes. learn from your mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so. hopefully the audience is learning as well. And there's <laughs> now, no one useful, to make mistakes. Yeah. Now, one useful um, bit of school maths that you get out of this, which is really nothing to do with the topology, is how many possibilities. And it's a, it's a little experiment that you can ask about because it's something that um, you need to understand when you come to probability. If you've got four different um, possibilities, uh, uh, two things happening at each, uh, each corner here, how many possibilities? Well, we can list them. So we can either have four unders, uh, which is the one we did, well, one you see on the screen, which is a sort of pink one, the one we've we've really puzzled about whether it's got uh, two twists with four half twists or whether it was just one twist, as I labelled it. I think that. Well, wrongly. perhaps you can you can test this and make a comment for us. Mm. Come back to the video later and, and test it, and you can decide whether it's got four half twists or two half twists. Let us know. 
But coming back else. to the, the question of how many possibilities, we're going to look at the all the possibilities, and I've only listed five of them, okay? The ones where you've got three un, uh, four unders, which is the one on its own, and then when you've got three unders, you can have them in those sequences. You can have under, 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 over, or you can have under, under, over, under, and you can see there are two more possibilities there. So five, and now here there are six, okay, because here now there's all the ways in which you can have two unders and two overs and the different permutations of the unders and overs. I mean, the permutation word just means how many different ways can you arrange them. And what else? What have we not looked at so far? Well, we haven't looked at having one under or no unders. So we've got right. four unders, three unders, two unders, and now there's the list of four possibilities for one under with three overs. And the, finally, the last one there has got no unders at all. It's got four overs. So that's how you work out in a systematic way how many possibilities that are in a problem like this and this is 16 altogether but because you've got four choices and at each choice you have got either one of two possibilities under or over it's two times two times two times two permutations or if you like arrangements okay so we've done done a little bit of the sort of work that they, the young people do have to do in school about permutations and combinations there. This is permutations. And there's this connection with the Mobius strip, but we didn't find that we could make a Mobius strip if we had an even number of these after this. No, we did not. So why so, don't we make a Mobius strip with a, a, um, a pentagon then? If you have ah, an odd that's number... Something to of edges on a on a shape, will you be able to make a mobile yes. strip with odd numbers and not make it with even numbers? Edges? There's something to there's something to explore. Now, sometimes people think about topology as being like sort of a rubber sheet sort of geometry. So, what you what you have is something which like the plasticine there, you can mold, but you mustn't make any new holes in your, in, in your piece of plasticine. So if you start off with that middle strip and you start off with a ring or a torus, okay, a mathematical word for it is a torus, um, like the um, hairband there, you see, if you stretch that out and blew it up, it would... <laughs> or the sort of uh, ring you have to um, stop you sinking if you're, you know, if you're not a good swimmer. It's a floating ring. So if you start off with that and you, and then you gradually mould your uh, rubber or plasticine, you gradually mould it and then you push uh, down. You're not actually making a hole. The surface the inside and the outside of the cup are all part of the same sort of surface. The hole there is um, is is through where you eventually form a handle to make the teacup. So, so wait, 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 wait. Topologically, they're the same. You're saying that my coffee cup is a torus. Yes. If it was made of plasticine, without you could you could you could squash it into. Um, you can squash it into a torus, yes. Oh, I suppose that does make sense because once upon a time this was clay or some such thing. So before it was formed, you could have actually played and made it into a torus and then formed it into a coffee cup and kept the hole. So topologically, having one hole and everything else being a, and a constant surface, it's, it's, it's a torus. That is, that is interesting. And Who knew? If you've got a... A, a sphere and you make a loop on the sphere anywhere you can shrink the loop to a point you can always do that even if it's even if it starts off with the longest loop you can make around the equator 
you can still slide it up um, on the sphere and, sh and shrink it, make it smaller and smaller and smaller until it goes into a, a point. But so with this, the... is, this is on the surface of the sphere. This, is a, this isn't a hole through the sphere you're talking about here. I'm just talking about the outer surface, and that's what we're okay. looking at. We're looking at topological surfaces. Okay, okay so, what, so what's the connection between the torus and the loop on the sphere? Ah, well, it's, I'm pointing out there's only one loop on the sphere. But yeah. when you come to the torus, there's two possible loops. You see, the red loop, you cannot shrink to a point because of the hole. Ah. The because black the hole loop. has to be there or it isn't topologically the same anymore. Yes. And, and the black loop, you, you, you actually um, can't shrink to a point either. There's a third loop that you can do on the surface of the torus, which is like the one on the string, on the sphere. But the two that you see are different sorts of loops to the one on the sphere. Okay. Neither of those can be shrunk to a point. And what one of the things that topology is about is this sort of thing, you know, what, and different functions um, are studied on topological surfaces. And uh, the function changes as you, the function, the value of the function changes as you move around, around loops. And sometimes they come back to where they started. And sometimes there are so things that can be shrunken and sometimes not. I mean, there's, there's, there's a whole world of topology out there. And, and we're just, well, we're just <laughs> hardly scratching a surface, really. <laughs> yeah. But, Ah, now, here's a thought. What's the topological difference between a sweater and a pair of trousers? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, we oh were talking uh, here, we were talking about how many holes there were. Now, when we put a sweater on, how many holes does it have? Well, there's the head, there's the two arms and the two legs. That's five holes. But then through the center is kind of a cylinder. So the head to the, the oh, and the trousers have three holes. The, the, five. Yes, Where did I, I get mean, five from? <laughs> Four. <laughs> I think so. I mean, yeah, you, 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 yes, you've got a, <laughs> a, a bottom edge, the edge around your neck, and each of those is, is a hole. <laughs> and as we all know, and then, two plus then two you put is your five. arms out the other two holes. Yeah, four, <laughs> yes. And three for the trousers. <laughs> right. So, so, they're, so they're different topologically because they have a different amount of holes. Yes. Yes. So here's a, a Mobius strip. Um, and you can see there, there's a half twist in it. And you can see that, uh, like the first strip that we showed for the ant, uh, with the ants on it, and like the one I showed with my little ladybird on it, um, you can go from, there really aren't two, side, two faces to that, um, because you can go all the way around and keep on, on it and... Uh, uh, and and you, you 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 can go from what what appeared when it was a cylinder to be an inside and an outside. Now it's all one on the Mobius strip. It's like a never-ending roller coaster. <laughs> and and the bit that was facing inwards turns to face outwards. The bit that was facing outwards turns to face inwards, and it goes on forever. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we've got a story to tell about a matador and uh, a bullfight. But you were telling me the other day, Caroline, that you thought they might have stopped having bullfights in Spain now. I, I, I double checked and the information I had was that in, it was about Sevilla. And apparently in Sevilla, that, that's it. They're not having any more actual damaging bulls fights. Um, but their bullfights continue in other parts of Spain, and um, I think Portugal have stopped actually torturing bulls. But apparently, South America haven't. There's places in South America 
where it continues. And you think it, it, it depends in Spain for where where you are from yeah. one region to another. It, it seems to depend that there is a movement in Spain. Apparently, it was um, kind of delayed by COVID. So, but there's definitely a movement in Spain to halt the torture of bulls. So we're doing this virtually. No bulls are being hurt. <laughs> in, fact, <laughs> in fact, it's been designed otherwise. Let's see what happens to this bull. <laughs> yes. Um, so we're going to have this bull uh, fighting. The bull bullfight actually on a Mobius strip, which is a very weird thing to do, but just for fun. <laughs> yeah. So it's a bit like fox, fox hunting in this country, isn't it? I mean, there's a, still a lot of people in this country. Uh, it wasn't so long ago that we stopped doing the fox hunting. And um, the dogs tore the, the um, poor old fox. Once they caught it, they tore it to pieces, didn't they? Um, mm -hmm. so, so some of us really, Caroline's pulling a face, we really hate the idea and couldn't imagine I'm a how... Ball. I could. I lived in Spain for ten years. I couldn't watch a bull fight. It was horrible. <laughs> so, do you have them on the television in Spain as oh, well? Sundays. Oh my goodness! It was Sunday afternoons. Football and bull fights. It was, and then it, the bicycle. You know, if they had the Tour de France or the the, the Tour de España, whatever they called it, but bull fights every Sunday during the season. Yes. No, mm. I couldn't watch. No. Couldn't do it. But it's it's actually very, very like the um, fox hunting here. I mean, there's, there's must be some people in Spain who don't like it and other people who think it's, you know, it's the national sport and it's in some sense um, part of their history and tradition and it's yep. important and they enjoy it. Yes, and, you're quite right. There are people and, who don't want to see it go, absolutely, yeah, and there are yeah, people yeah. who can't afford, can't afford it, so... Who abhor yes. it. I mean, it's so, only been in the last 20 years that we've stopped fox hunting in this country. Yeah. And uh, there's still a lot of people out there who um, miss their fox hunting, I think. <laughs> I don't think they miss, miss the kill. I think they miss the chase, actually, yeah. um, rather than the kill. Uh, they miss the dressing up and the being on a horse and the chase and the excitement of all of it and the... So what are we going to do with our, um, our matador? Okay, so the bull is going to charge past the matador and run around the imaginary Mobius strip in this mathematical bull ring space. And we're going to see what's, what happens. So I'm going to, um, now I'm going to um, minimize my, I'm going to try and minimize my um, PowerPoint so I can show you this film and maximize. If you pause for a moment, Tony, then I'll be able to edit this out. <laughs> and we can go smoothly from one to the other. Mm. And right. we do the edit. Now, what you see is the bull charging past the matador, as I said he would, and he carries on round the Mobius strip, keeps on going, and the Watador's waiting for him. But he's ready, he's poised. Look at him with his with his yes, sword, but when, ready, poised. When the bull gets there, the Matador's taken by surprise. <laughs> the bull charges past, piercing the poor Matador where it hurts, <laughs> and the bull keeps on going and goes on round and round again around and keeps on going and meets the matador again and the matador has picked himself up and the matador has stood up bravely to the bull but the bull has now oh dear he's charged into the matador poor <laughs> matador <gasps> poor matador and that that means that the bull gets to live the bull gets put out to pasture, and that's it. He doesn't have to do another day's work in his life. Well, he's an honourable... Well, how often does that happen, Caroline? Not <gasps> only when you involve the Mobius strip. doesn't happen very often. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I, I don't know where those trips out there to save the bulls. <laughs> yes. So that is the strange thing we wanted to show you about the about the Mobius strip, really. Here it is. Very there he is when he meets the bull meets the matador on the first circuit. The bull very ramp. confused matador. <laughs> yes. The bull runs round one circuit, okay, and meets the matador, taking him by surprise. And piercing the matador with his horns, and the ball goes on running for a second circuit. Injured and very shot matador picks himself up. And well, that was your happy maths hour story time. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, aren't you crying tears, buckets of tears for this poor matador? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't like it when there's a, anybody gets hurt. So, yeah, I'm, I'm like, just, <laughs> just stop the whole business and that's fine. Win-win. Yeah. <laughs> but it does show you something really rather weird about this uh, Mobius strip, doesn't it? Yes, we're still we're still working on understanding this. You know, we uh, I'm, to I'm make now a Mobius quite... strip. You I'm made now... a Mobius strip there. What do we do? <laughs> What's it all about? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we have a blue line drawn along the centre of a cylinder. And if we cut all the way around the blue line, what do you expect to happen? The resulting strip. What would it look like? Would it be narrower or longer? How many twists would it have? So Caroline, would you like to show us? couldn't find my cylinder for a moment there right let's get the right the correct screen up and so we have well it's a bit of a wonky cylinder so what am I doing I cut it all the way along the middle all the way down the middle so I've got a line that goes all the way along the, down the middle So what do you think is going to happen? Now imagine What's what going will to be the end everybody. result? Is it going to make a Mobius strip? Is it, I'm, I'm cutting a cylinder in half along its waistline, let's say. So what am I going to end up with? How many strips? Oh, and will they be narrower, longer? Will they be twisted? Oh, you seem to have two cylinders. I'd have two yeah. cylinders that are half the, the height of the one we started with. And no twists. No twists. Okay. No twists at all. So that's what happens with a cylinder. Okay. So, so then, supposing we do something similar on a Mobius strip. So with the blue line drawn along the center of the Mobius strip, and we've also got red lines, but we'll come to those in a minute on the one on the as in the one on the right. Something so, very interesting happened while I was drawing that line. And if you have never drawn a line along a Momia strip, I suggest you do it. It's quite interesting. It is actually. Now Caroline is she's now going to cut along the center of this blue this Mobia strip. And what would you expect to happen? All right, she's going to show you. So what do you think I'm going to end up with? Am I going to have two cylinders? Am I going to have, well, how thick is it going to be? Am I going to have two Mobius strips? What am I going to have? Well, you've only got one I've strip, only Caroline. You've got one strip. It's oh my goodness! A strip that's twice as long as the one I started with, and, and width. how many twists have I got? I've got. Let's see. There's that part is a cylinder there. Let's go into where I've got all the twists here. I've got one. Tw I've got two twists, Tony. Can that be possible, or is it? 
Oh, two half mean, twists. Two half twists. I don't think you that, can that's actually... going all the way. That's one full twist. That's one. It's one and a half twists. Ah, oh. one and a half twists is what I've got. That's so that one goes all the way round white, all the way round back to white again. And this one twists from white to yellow, which means it's a half twist, I think. So we're saying no. it's got three half twists. No, actually, I'm, it's got four because that. If I did move this along, it's white to white. It's actually got four half twists. Don't I? I don't. I haven't got an explanation. But I might I be wrong. Think, I, I don't. I, I think wrong. it's got three half twists, Caroline. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do later, and you might want to do the same. Um, is I'm actually going to draw a line along it, and then I'll know. Do you want to do that now? Do you oh, want to do yeah. that now? Yeah, absolutely. Because that's the magical thing about... So here we go. All the way down the middle. This is the, uh, the other great thing about Mobius strips, is it's... It's all, some people are experts. I'm not. I love to play with them. And I'm always discovering new things. And there's never a moment where I can't say, oh, let me test this. Let me do that. And somebody will say, well, what if you did that? And the answer is, I don't know. Let's give it a go. Let's do it and see what happens. So we're seeing if this is actually a Mobius strip by drawing a line. And I've only drawn a line on one face, Tony. This shape has two faces. Oh. Who knew? So you were right, Caroline. Well done. You, what I you said like, was yeah. you had four half twists. Yeah. So somehow or other you've untwisted it. So I can make a square with this. <laughs> make a rectangle i think it might be beyond my ability to make a square right now but i can certainly make a rectangle with it and that folds there under Oops. over over under and i can make a rectangle with it which shows us according to what we were investigating earlier interesting it connects doesn't off. it yeah yeah okay this is an this is an over under over over well, well, that's interesting. So we've got four half twists there. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so now what about showing us what happens with the um, the red line? Now, the red line is a quarter of the way across the strip. And what do you expect to happen here? Okay, right. Well, I've lost my, lost my scissors. How can one lose one's scissors? When one is doing a live show, I have no idea where they are. Right, okay, here we go. And red line. Keep on again, cutting. Again, if you actually do the activity of drawing the line in the middle and then drawing a line halfway across the, um, just as I've done here, it's again interesting. Just predict what you're going, what's going to happen and then see what actually happens with the drawing part now. What is going to happen with the cutting part? You're just keeping a quarter of the way across from the same edge as you go on. So I've clearly got a, something that's going to be that wide. Am I going to come to this black, the blue line, and end up with four strips that wide? What shape are the strips going to be? And the great thing is there's no right or wrong answer to this because it's all it's all using your imagination, having a, a whoop, here we go. Oh, 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 and I've got to, oh I've found out where my other scissors are now. Okay, so I've got a strip that's the half the original width. I've got a strip that's a quarter of the original width, and here's another strip here that's a quarter of the original width. How many strips have I got like that? And Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're inter intersected. And this double width strip is the original strip. It's, it's, it's a Mobius strip. It's got one half twist. What about this one? That's going to be quite interesting to work out. If I 
stretch this so keep these parallel to each other that should enable me to identify how many twists we are left with I don't know how many it's going to be because I thought I'd done this and now I'm not sure so that's two half twists to end up the way it started and that's two half twists again Tony we've got two half twists so this one so it's is not Mobius but this one is but this one is twice as long interesting the it, yeah skinny it, one it, is twice as long and it's yeah. one loop but it's <laughs> but it's not Mobius where's the, the original what's left that, that's me? really interesting yeah okay so it's so the there's a one that's half the width with the blue line down the middle which is this which is a mobius strip it hasn't changed but you cut off what you cut off from it is it turned out to be a single strip um, you might have thought there would be three pieces but there's only two and each of those uh, uh, the, this the single strip was twice as long so a recapping on that we've got if the blue line is drawn along the center of the cylinder caroline has just showed us so what we get is two the results two cylinders half the width of the original that's what happens there and if we do something similar with a, a mobius strip we describe what we've just seen what we expected to happen now imagine it think about it and imagine it Caroline's just showed you and that's what happens and what Caroline showed us with that is that it could be rearranged into a, a rectangle or square with four half twists so it had quite a different character from the original Mobius strip And then can you imagine now in your mind's eyes about visualizing something, thinking about that, what happens when we cut this Mobius strip? It has one twist, or one half twist really, all the way around along the red line, one quarter of the way across the strip. What would we expect to happen and what would the resulting strip look like? Would it be narrower or longer? And how many twists would it have? Imagine it. There's the result that what Caroline showed us. The um, strip, the, the, the one which has the blue line down the center, which came from the middle of our original Mobius band. It's the same length as the original. And the other one's twice as long, and that one had four half twists in it. Not one half twist, but four. Okay, so we're ready. We've 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 really finished our. our, we, our... we have, but I've got I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve, Tony. Oh right, let's let's. Can we, can we do a couple of tricks? We've got time. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's have you and me. There we go. Now, what I've got, can you see what I'm doing, Tony? Yes. One, what well, is the, is something that, what is the name of your lovely friend that did the? Tadashi. Tadashi. Okay, so we take a sheet of, of A4 paper doesn't matter what size it is. Any, any rectangle is fine. Wait, topologically, you wouldn't even need to use a rectangle. I'm using scrap paper here, so that's why there's a line on it. We always use scrap paper if we can. I'm folding it in four. No mystery there. No, no nothing special required. Now, I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm going to cut out the four loose sheets. So the, I'm going to keep the fold, 
and get rid of the edges. I'm going to cut out an L shape. What shape am I going to get with these, with this remaining? When I open it out, what shape am I going to get? Um, I've got a T. I think you're going to get a cross. Yay. Quite right. I've got a cross. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join... I need some scrap paper to lean on here. That's not scrap. Oh, well, I'll clean it off the desk later. I'm going to join these two together. This was taught to me by Hattie Maths, by the way, Sue Brown. who Somebody else taught it to her, but she taught it to me. Right, now we have a cylinder and with two long bits. But what we're going to do here now is we're going to join these together but we're not going to join them together like a cylinder. We're going to do a Mobius twist on them, a half twist. So we'll have a Mobius strip there. Perfect. So not we don't just join them. Do half a half twist. A twist. Half a twist. Now, first thing we're going to do is cut halfway down this little cylinder here, a bit like a, a napkin holder, napkin ring. I feel like it's Christmas here with my napkin ring. Let's see what is going to happen. What is it going to look like when I finish cutting through halfway through this napkin ring, this cylinder? What are we going to have? Mm. Ta-da! Oh! And the other one that was the Mobius strip is now sort of stretched well, out. It's and... straightened out. Oh, wow. Straightened That's out. interesting. Very carefully, you might have noticed something, but I'm not going to point it out. Now, what's going to happen when I cut down what was the pathway of the Mobius strip? What are we going to end up with? Ah, just a picture frame. It hasn't got any. It hasn't got any overs and unders at the corners, has it? <laughs> Nothing. It's a two D picture frame. That's it. Oh, I've got one more little, nice little one. If you, oh, if you like to see it. Yes. Okay. So I've got a strip of paper. This is just cash, cashier. I, I get this stuff that you use on the cash machines. But on one end, I've made four fingers, nice and long. It's much better if you make them nice and long. Again, Hattie Mass showed me this. Now I'm going to get lots of lovely glue on here to give me some flexibility. Splutch, splutch, lots of lovely, lovely glue. Unless I was using double-sided tape, there's no real way of pre-preparing this because the glue has to work when you use it. So for the first one, first finger, finger number one, I'm just going to stick it straight on. Am I? Yes. Finger number two is going to be stuck round like a Mobius twist. Finger number three is going to go into position four. And is that straight or is having going into position three? It's not quite straight, but it topologically it, it's the same. Okay, you haven't given a half twist to either finger three I'm, or four. No. Okay. Thank you. But you, you did to finger two. To you did to finger two. Half twisted. You can see because it's white. The others are all still straight down. They, they still have the same orientation as they had to start off with. There's mm -hmm. other different variants that you can do of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. So what is going to happen when I cut this in half? What am I going to end up with? 
Oh, I find it really difficult to imagine. I think um, there's going to be a Mobius um, part of it, but uh, it's difficult to think about. It's really hard to imagine. There's lots of different ways you can place the fingers. You can experiment doing all kinds of different things <laughs> and have a guess see what's going to happen. So we have two cylinders oh, with some wonky is... joins. What do you mean monkey joins? Um, well, we've still got these wonky joins here because I made them wonky. Yeah, you so did. They... You mean the fingers are crossed, but 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 are they? Are there any twists, uh, Caroline? See what I did between the first two fingers and the second two fingers is there, there's no connection between them. So all I've done is separate the first two fingers from the second two fingers. So there was no nothing very interesting mm. there. Mm. But it's still mm. a surprise, isn't it? You don't know what you're going to get. So now let's take the this one, which has one that's stuck straight on and one that has a Mobius twist. Now I'm going to separate. Fingers number one and two, what are we going to get? There's so many different ways you can experiment with these fingers. <laughs> and you can do more fingers, you can do less fingers. You can really have a good time experimenting with them. So finger number one, that was just joined straight off, of course, is just a cylinder, topologically anyway. Okay, finger number two, which I twisted round is, if it hadn't stuck to itself, is a Mobius, because that's what I created. It's just a one finger width Mobius. Wow. That's now, interesting. What wow. about fingers, fingers number three and four? All I did was cross them over. So all I did, I didn't change that orientation. What is going to happen? We have seen... The, the 2D flat come out from all kinds of twists and turns with, the, with the, the handcuffs. What is going to happen? We've seen squares that won't be Mobiuses. We've been triangles that turn into Mobius strips. What is going to happen with these two crossed over fingers? Interestingly, even though neither one of them was a Mobius strip, we now have a loop that's twice as long. Now let's see how many twists it has in it. It has. Is it Mobius or has one, it got two half twists? It has one half twist, I believe. We have created... A Mobius strip. A Mobius strip. Just by, by crossing, crossing over, the fingers. <laughs> by crossing the fingers. And it's twice as long. That is amazing. That is such a good demo. <laughs> and there's so, so many, so many ideas that the people have had and um, so many different experiments. You think, well, what if this? What can happen? What? And this is, I get this when I do demonstrations and shows oh well what what if you did this i'm like great why don't you do it you do it, <laughs> it yes gets, i think i think this is lovely because experiment it's it, it you do it with scrap paper as you've shown um no cost here um a simple pair of scissors and you know children can do this for themselves can't they, they can have endless fun playing with it and the two yeah. ideas you've just shown us caroline are are, are really <laughs> really something that everybody's going to be surprised so um you know some children could prepare this and, and then go home and show it to their parents and their parents are going to be amazed <laughs> absolutely and then tony i think maybe we should keep it for valentine's day tony to ducky's heart well, that's that's a really nice one isn't it yes i, I think you're right <laughs> well, we wanted to get Satoshi to join us, and he said Tatashi. he would. Yes, he said he would. So, um, 
uh, I'll, uh, maybe we should do it next next year on Valentine's Day. Invite him for Valentine's. <laughs> yes, yes. And I don't know whether he's seen your finger crossing thing. I think he might have done because he oh, he's into all these showman tricks. And uh, maybe he hasn't though. Wouldn't it be lovely to show him something that you you haven't done? So Dashi. Tadashi is a professor, he's a good friend of mine, he's, he was a professor at um, Stanford University and he's a serious mathematician, but in his spare time he's a, he's, um, he's a magician. <laughs> and he's a and, great showman, he's such uh, panache, doesn't he? He's very yes, entertaining. Yes, yes, and I had a wonderful time at his wedding because he invited his, some of his other friends who were magicians and they were doing, uh, and one of his friends was doing tricks and he even took um, Lisa's wedding ring and said, you, you know, I hope you trust me. <laughs> and, Never uh, trust a magician. <laughs> and it did seem to disappear, but he did, he did give it to her back in the end. <laughs> he didn't make it disappear. I, I never understand though. how they managed to get it into a sealed bottle. I mean, I, I, I know lots of magicians, but I, re I don't want to find out how the magic works because I still find it really fascinating. And when I know how it works, I appreciate the performance. And you say, oh, well, that was really well performed. When it's done badly, you're like, I know how they've done it. It kind of takes all the mystery away. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just imagine one of the, one of the things they, they need to do is to... Um, make you focus your attention on something else so that you don't notice the bit of sleight of hand. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's called misdirection, it's a technical word. And then you've also got something very psychological, lots of psychology involved in magic, and that's called the suspension of disbelief. <laughs> so you have to suspend, you have to be good enough to suspend the disbelief of your audience. So that they believe that what you're doing is magic. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And those are technical terms. The suspension of disbelief. I did not make that up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but here, the really, I mean, really, these aren't tricks. These are these are things that anybody can test out for themselves. But they are quite hard to visualize. And as Caroline and I have shown you today, un, inadvertently, we didn't mean to do it. Um, we we weren't quite sure after we really got up, launched on on this on this voyage. We weren't absolutely sure how many half twists there were. You know, <laughs> we thought we knew, and then we weren't sure, so we needed to check on it. And um, it really needs two people, Caroline. And we're doing this on our own. And yeah. so, uh, what what you need to do really is you need to take one person take one end of the strip and the other person holds the other end and it's very difficult to do if you're just on your own and then yeah you could um, tape it to a table you could tape it to a surface too i suppose you could yeah yeah we, yes and yes you, so, uh, but then then you then you just carefully do half just round 180 degrees as you would to make a mobius strip and then another half twist and see how many half twists it is you can just count it that way because the that way you were doing it caroline is really really hard to get it right yeah that's true and um the thing is that this is de demonstrates how you can struggle with a maths problem very well because <laughs> you can keep thinking oh i've got it now i've got it now and, you can, and then you go back and oh no that's not it and then you think oh, oh i've got it now i've got it now oh no no i still haven't got it and that's exactly what was happening with the Mobius strip. We thought we knew how many twists it had, and we were wrong, which is fine. It was absolutely fine. Now we're probably going to go back and double check again. <laughs> but it, and that's, this is just demonstrating how you come to conclusions in mathematics. And then you can have people that have, have published a proof. Everybody in the world agrees it's a proof, and then it gets disproved a few years later. So this happens, and that's that's the life of a mathematician, isn't it, Tony? Yeah, but we're but usually <clears throat> this is this. Don't believe that what we've been showing you is topology. It's really just <laughs> playing around in the in the shallows at the edge of the ocean. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't even do that. <laughs> <laughs>
It's lots anyway, of fun. Anyway, we've had a bit of fun and we hope yeah. you have. And so I think it's time to say goodbye. Yes, it is. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Next next week is we're doing a Mass Week Ireland special. And the subject is, I can never remember, the, reptiles, reptiles. We're doing mathematical yes. reptiles next week. So please well, these do are join not, us. These are not cold-blooded green oh, creatures. Oh, Tony, well, <laughs> my, my, <laughs> go on. No, they're not cold-blooded green creatures. <laughs> so next week, then, it's going to be reptiles. And that be bye bye everyone. Join us and be part of Mass Week. Uh, excuse me, Mass Week Island. Bye bye. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>